today's video. <sighs> Being attacked by a hood. Welcome back to today. Today we are riding Chino. <laughs> Again, slow and steady wins the race. <gasps> oh no. Sophie's like, don't let the dogs out. Poof, they went out. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today. Have you ever had one of those days where you wake up and then you don't even no. wake up? And you have your coffee and then you're still not awake? And then you're exhausted. <laughs> even though there's no reason to be exhausted. Yeah, that is me today. I do not know why. But Mother's Day is coming, you guys. It's a day to make up for all the sleepless days. Outside? Yeah, outside. So today... I am going to, or this morning, I'm hoping to clean up some of that old hay out there and clean up that pasture. It's almost time to put our girls on grass, which is exciting. But right now, we have to get our horses brushed and outside so we can clean stalls because it's farrier day. I have the best idea. I have the best idea. I So sometimes people message me privately. Some people say that the comment section, people just attack them for no reason. and. You guys know we have a moderator. We have moderators that handle our comment section so we don't see like a lot of awful stuff. Usually it's gone before I get there to the, to our channel. Um, but anyway, people do message me privately because they say they're afraid to comment on the comment section. And anyway, so this girl messaged me yesterday and her message gave me so much excitement. Like she's like, I think you should do this. And I was like, how did I never think of that? We are totally doing it. Being down at the barn waiting for the farrier means we have time to get our poles finished. So, Sophie, that's such a good way to measure. That's kind of how I would measure. So, Sophie's doing smaller colors. That's how I measured and she copied it from me. Oh, well, see, you're teaching your sister good stuff. So, while we wait for the farrier, she should be here in 15 minutes. The girls are going to do their poles. I am going to clean the paddock. My mom's letting me do her pole because I'm out of paint. Yeah, we ran out of paint. I have to go get blue and purple again if you guys missed that video. Green yeah, green and purple. That's what I meant. Uh, Sophie's pole. We needed one more pole like that. Gabby's are red and white. And she's finishing hers. And then Sophie's going to do mine. What color are you doing mine? Yellow and maybe blue, maybe white. So yellow and white or yellow and blue, right? I still am loving this wheelbarrow is three years old, three years old, and it has been amazing. Gabby's bringing Gracie in and Penny's like, whoa, wait for me, even though we're not friends. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. Oops, you're already clean and ready for the farrier. Yes, you are. Yeah, you don't need to come in yet. I brush you. I always brush Penny before I let her outside. She's like, but what about my friends? Whoa. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. Is that normal? Uh, nope. Let's see. In the lid. Oh, man. Do, did you get two white, yellow ones? I don't know. Look and see. Probably. You got a defective bottle. Return it. Return it. I will. I don't even remember where I bought that. All right, Penny, you have to leave because I'm cleaning the arena. Okay. Do you mind? Look how long her hair is getting, actually. We have an order for the farrier. Willow, Gracie, Penny. And who do you think is the worst one out of all of our horses for the farrier? They're all really good. But if you had to choose one to be the worst one, who would it be? Who? Gracie. Gracie. <laughs> she's still good, but she'll like bend her body to like, she'll pretend like she's going to lay down or she'll move around a little, whereas the other two just stand there beautifully. All right, we are done with the ponies. Penny was perfect. Oh, Willow was perfect. Oh, Gracie was a brat. the spray thingy was for the... Oh, it yellow. was on the ground? Oh, so it just fell off? Yeah. Oh, good. All right, so we are getting ready to do, go do school stuff before we head to the barn to do Chino. Where we live, it's not super warm yet. All of our horses aren't shed all the way out yet. Even even Penny, who I whoops, even Penny, who I brush every day. That is a lot of junk, though. A lot of hoof and more hoof. It's looking for more hoof and more hoof. 
<laughs> They're like, yay, it's treat time. The last couple of days it's been raining outside, so we fed the horses inside, so I just cleaned up the inside arena, all the extra hay and all the poo. And if I leave my rake out here, then when I get back, it won't be here. It'll be stomped on, chewed to bits. Penny is such a curious girl. She will destroy it. You can't leave anything in the arena. All right, let's head out. This is all my arena stuff. Girls have gone to do school, start school, and this is what their poles are looking like. Uh-oh, hold on, let's see here. So this is what Sophie did with her pole, and I actually really like it. It's adorable. There must be grass coming in way down at the back, you guys. I can tell because all the horses disappear. When they're down, wait, when they're way down there, you know grass is there. <laughs> and Penny's behind the barn. All right, so these are our final count of chickens from the new clutch. This is it, there's 11 of them, and we think most of them are girls, if you can actually believe that. Um, there's a really cute gray one there. There's a funny chipmunk one. There are <laughs> some one. cute white ones, like a yellow one and almost a pure white one. And lots of black ones. We don't really have any black ones yet. One, two, three, four, five, six black ones. But they're pretty much black and white, so I think they're like, probably Easter egg or cross with a barred rock. And I'm excited to see what they turn into. Um, this one is enjoying sleeping upside down. <laughs> this is what babies do. <laughs> they get so tired they just fall asleep but they forget to lay down. Lay down little baby. <laughs> it's gonna fall over. Yeah, sometimes they just fall over. And then this one is laying down sleeping. But they're adorable, we love them so much. So some of my little roosters are going to a new home today and I'm just double checking to make sure that they're roosters because you can't tell for sure but I'm pretty sure that we sexed them well. Look at how gorgeous these chickens are starting to look. Like how gorgeous. But you can tell, like this guy right here, even though we already checked him with like his wings to see that he was a rooster, you can tell that he probably actually is a rooster for a couple of reasons. One, he walks straight up and down like that a lot, but also see his comb on the top of his head? It's already getting big. Oh my goodness. And, whoops, and he's getting sassy. <laughs> Thinks he can get out. So then you'll see that one, definitely a girl back there and her comb is not even developed at all. And then, so that big one back there, that Cochin, it's her brothers that I am, that are going to a new home. And she looks like that and her comb isn't developed at all and their comb is huge. So those are other signs that they're boys and some breeds like the leghorn, their comb develop much faster than in the girls and than regular chickens. So it's always hard to tell, but you can really tell with these guys that I think we made all right choices about who's a boy and who's a girl. Although well, this one here, I think it's a boy and it doesn't have any comb growth at all. And I also thought he was kind of a silky, but I don't know. Like, he's a silky cross for sure, but he's got a lot of hard feathers on him. And silkies have normally really soft, silky feathers. All right, but uh, that is it. We're down two more chickens. All of these are gonna go except for, I think, two. All of these are gonna go to a new home except for two because we don't want too many chickens. Yeah, we don't want too many, but I love her. She's just so gorgeous. And these are the two that are being rehomed. <laughs> I mean, I put some shavings in there for you, but you can see that their combs also are very developed and very beautiful looking. <laughs> They're like, where are we going? So, oh, I was right. <laughs> we traded our coach and roosters for frizzle, frizzle chickens. Do you guys know what frizzle chickens look like? You're a little frizzle. They, oops. they are so cute. They're frizzles. They're like, wait, when, when we get home, oh, yeah, we'll show you. I have to spin it around. Yeah, he loves grass. That's okay. Grass is good for you. Hi, handsome. Are you, you're clean. He's like, let's find See, some more he's grass. Like going to the grass. Yeah, he's very methodical. One thing I love about this boy 
is that he thinks everything through. And we've never had a uh, thoroughbred before. Although she knows a thoroughbred cross and Gabby's ridden some thoroughbreds before. And we know some thoroughbreds in the past like that our friends owned. But he really is like Storm in, in how he thinks about things. And like Storm literally, and his old owner said the same thing. He literally stands there, looks at things, thinks it through, and then and then rationalizes it. And it just makes him like such a more, more calm horse. And that's what I love about Chance. He's so not reactive, so not spooky. And the lessons, holy moly. It's like he was born in a lesson program. Like he's just so, gets to work, does his job. Stands there. Well, it's not his turn. <laughs> like he's adorable. Well, this You're joking me. No, it's the opposite foot that he pulled the other one off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, last week he pulled this one off. Now it's this one. I knew those shoes were going to come off the minute they went on because they looked so big. So now what do we do? Oh. Well, hello. Hi, Storm. Hi. Look who met us at the gate. How are you? I'm going to get you a fly mask. I see a fly. All right, I'm going to go call our farrier, have him come back, put another shoe on. Ah. Sophie's alone in the barn with Chance. Shh. I hear talking to him. It's the cutest thing. I could just hear her in there talking to him, like not even quietly, but like just having a full on conversation with him. Um, I just like seeing like already Sophie has changed so much with this horse. Like, I don't know. It's just amazing to see her coming into her own self and like starting to take a more active role with her horse, taking charge of him and it's just been beautiful. I don't know if she's going to ride. She's either going to ride Finn or she's going to wait for the farrier. But he had like really big overhang on his shoes this time. And I was like, oh, those are not going to stay on. I heard you talking to him outside the door. Oh, yeah. I talk to him a lot. I know. I love so that. I don't hear voices. <laughs> Did you save her, Chance? I heard you and Gabby talking. Did you? And then I looked at the door and you weren't there. Oh. I went to the bathroom. Oh, what is he smelling? <laughs> Oh, yawning. Was that a big yawn? So some people were saying that horses that lick metal and stuff, it can be like a nutritional imbalance. <laughs> yeah, he's biting it. Um, and that is true. Every single horse in this, in this barn licks the metal. Like our horses at home and even the horses that we have here at home don't lick the metal, but they lick this metal. He's even licking the wood. <laughs> um, Anyways, he gets salt. He has salt in his field, a great big salt lick, and he gets salt in his food, and he gets a really good vitamin feed called Grow and Win, and he gets grain. Yeah, you get all that. He's like, really? But I had him in here the other day, and I was sweeping, and he caught a hold of the broom, and he was like, let me chew that. <laughs> let me chew that. Yeah, I love that he... Well. Yeah, well, and he likes to explore. That's how horses explore their environment. You don't have hands. <laughs> yeah, you're such a good boy. The biggest question I get about Sophie's horse is that um, what does she plan to do with him this summer? And so um, what Sophie plans to do with him is just like a lot of walk, trot, pulls, a lot of um, transitions, a lot of circles, a lot of walk, trot, building him up. And uh, hopefully by the middle of the summer, um, she'll be able to do a few shows on him. Just some simple shows like uh, schooling shows, just walk, trot, pulls, something like that. I think he could absolutely step into that right now, but we want to build his weight up a little bit and our vet wants us to do it really slowly um like we've done with like we did with chino it took us a good six months to put weight on chino do you remember when chino was skinny yeah yeah and it took like we gave him everything we gave him everything that we we're giving to chance um that's another big question what the heck are you feeding chance to build his weight so um I, hopefully i remember everything but he's getting beet pulp he's getting his special grain he, he's getting a vitamin grain so two different kinds of grain. He's getting 
salt, he's getting oil, he's getting uh, ulcer supplement, and he's getting, oh, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> but anyway, he's getting all that. I can see weight coming on him already. Plus, I think that, what? It would have been a great day to have a lesson today. Yeah, it would have been a great day to have a lesson, she said. She's just out here riding around like crazy. So another thing that I think is working really well in his favor is that uh, Brandon was really good about managing his field and he didn't, he's at the bottom of his field. So he only has him in with one other horse and it's a gentle horse so he's able to like eat whenever he wants which that really helps chino maintain his weight but it did take us six months to put weight on a chino this guy um definitely needs weight he needs muscle he has some muscle he's been working he has been working all this time and it's clearly and it's super obvious by how well he rides. But if you have any other questions, go ahead and comment them below. Uh, somebody did message me and say, please don't put spurs on Sophie for this horse because he's slow and he's not that slow. He, his speed is perfect. His, he has the perfect speed for Sophie. He has a big stride, so it feels to her like he's moving forward and moving out, but he's just going at a regular speed. He, he is a perfect, like, if I didn't know better, I'd say this horse has been in lessons his whole life. Like that, I mean, for 10 years. Like that's how reliable and and amazing he's been. He's just, he just goes out there and does his job. Like he's, it's just shocking. And you guys will get to see him, her riding him so super soon. Also, I forgot to mention that he has had his feet done just recently. Um, he had his teeth done just recently. Feet and teeth and we also have our massage girl coming in the next few days and he'll get added to that as well. So, feels like we got it all under control. Look at that heart. It's a heart made of wood. I swear the reason God shows me hearts is because he's always reminding me to be kind. Always reminding me to be kind, you guys. This is Chance's favorite spot. <laughs> You look at that I said my friend what you're looking at I think she is something for me excuse me miss it's my first time here maybe you can show me out of here I think she got something Sophie how was your ride very good very good she had such a good ride I was so proud of her she went out there and rode all by herself Where because that? oh holy heck Horses were just like chasing each other around in the and field in the trunk. and they just did like this big bucking circle around Storm. Storm's just standing in the middle, dead stock still, not even caring. We're going to put a fly mask on Storm though before we leave. Don't you know that you're beautiful?